If you own a 3D printer, then you know how fast those spools pile up. And before long, you've got no idea how much is left, when you bought them, or which ones are about to run out. Sure, most modern spools have a weight gauge on the side, but unless you actually weigh it, there's no real way to know for sure. So I ended up making a Google Sheet that kind of tracked my filament inventory, which a lot of you wanted a copy of. And while it worked to a point, <laughs> it was a bit clunky and it was basically impossible to be able to share with you guys just due to the way that I had set it up. Because I have no experience coding anything. And then out of nowhere, a company called Simply Print reached out to me because they had watched one of my previous videos and was wondering if I wanted to try out their 3D printer cloud software. So they gave me free access to one of their paid tiers and I tried it out. And after playing around with it for a bit, I realized they had the answer to all of my problems. <laughs> or one problem, one really big annoying problem. A full featured filament management system. Oh yeah. And it looked much better than my Google Doc. With automatically generated QR codes that you attach to your spools, all you have to do is scan it, assign it to a printer, and Bob's your uncle. Their virtual filament sensor shows exactly how much you've got left on each spool, right down to the gram. That is pretty damn cool. And now I never have to worry about running out of filament ever again. Now this system is absolutely jam-packed full of features with more to come in an upcoming update. It can give you alerts when you're printing with old filament, so that could be a good indicator on whether or not you need to dry it beforehand. It tracks the filament usage extremely accurately and even shows the cost of every single print that you do. And the best part about it is that it is completely free for anyone who has two printers or less forever. And if you find that you do like it and you want to use it with more than two printers, I'll leave a discount link in the description. So in order for this to work, you're going to need your printers connected to Simply Print. And this will require your printer to have Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, most modern printers have this installed already, but if you're using an older generation machine, then all you need to do is buy a Raspberry Pi and set it up with Octoprint. There's a setup guide for every single printer that it's compatible with. They support over 500 printers and over 136 brands, which is just mind blowing. I can't even imagine how complicated that would be to do. And they even say that if your printer isn't listed on their website, that it'll probably work anyway. Now, one thing that I just wanted to note, especially if you have a bamboo printer, is that your antivirus may flag it and think that it's malware when it's not. For some reason, Bamboo Studio is wigging out antiviruses all across the world. So if that happens to you, don't worry, you're totally fine. And once your printers are set up, it's time to head over to the filament tab. And this is where all the magic happens. When you add a spool, you can choose from a wide variety of filament brands, materials and colors. There's also a section for how much the spool costs, which you can save for future spools, and the date that you bought it to avoid using old or wet filament. Then you can choose how big the spool is and how much is on it. You can add in your empty spool weight for extremely precise usage estimates. Then you have the right panel if you want to add in any additional information like custom colors, color codes, or even batch numbers, which can be really helpful for keeping that seamless print when using multiple spools of the same color. Then just enter in how many spools you have of that same color and that's it. The system now generates a unique QR code for every single spool automatically. Now you can print these on a thermal printer or a regular printer. I just use my Munbin thermal printer because I already have barcode labels that I can use. Where you stick these labels really depends on how you store your filament. On the box, on the vacuum bag, or on the spool. Now I like to put the labels on the box because it makes the filament easier to store. But the problem with this is when you take the spool out of the box and throw the box in the bin, then the label goes with it. So I found a spool clip on Maker World and I added a flat area for the label. There's also a spot to stick the filament into while it's not in use, which I found to be much better than having to bend it through one of the side holes. So I'll share the sticker plate I used here in the description, as well as a link to the clip. The purpose of scanning the code is so that you can assign a specific spool to a specific printer, along with all the information from that spool including its color, filament type, as well as remaining filament left on the spool. QR scanning will be built into their app very soon, but for now you'll just have to use a separate app. You can start prints in three ways, uploading your files directly to their system, using their integrated slicer, or you can even use your own slicer with simply print integration, like Orca or Cura, and hopefully Bamboo Studio will be on that list. 
<laughs> one day. Now, if you start your print from outside their system, so for example, on the printer screen directly, then it won't be able to track your filament usage as it doesn't have access to that data yet. But personally, I found starting prints from the Your Files tab to be the easiest. These are all basically just files that I've exported from Bamboo Studio and uploaded them onto the Simply Print system. I print these things repeatedly, so it's nice that I don't have to go through the whole slicing process every single time I want to print them, as having to re-slice something over and over and over leaves room for human error and making mistakes. Once the print finishes, the spool weight is updated and you can either keep printing with the same spool or remove it along with the QR tag and keep it for storage. Now, I was very interested to see how accurate their filament tracking system actually was. So I tested it by weighing a spool before and after printing and compared it to Simply Print's estimate. And after subtracting the spool weight, the result was actually really, really close only being off by a few grams. And this deviation is actually probably the result of my dodgy scale rather than the tracking system. But this accuracy was also due to me entering in the exact weight of the spool before I used it. You are probably going to get a little bit of variance if you don't weigh every single spool because they're generally always over or under by about 10 or 20 grams. However, they are bringing out an update with their version two of the filament system. And this one has actually planned to have a filament holder with a weight gauge built into it that connects to Simply Print. And it can tell you exactly how much filament is left on the spool and you don't have to go through and manually weigh anything. So in the meantime, if you want that pinpoint accuracy, you can weigh all the spools beforehand, or you can just assume that they're always gonna be 10 or 20 grams over or under. Now one feature that I would love to see that I actually managed to get working on my Google Sheet, <laughs> which was surprising. When your filament stock gets to a specific level, you'll get an email with the link that you put in there so you can just click it and buy it straight away. Uh, that would be a nice feature and I'm pretty sure that would be fairly easy to implement. If I could do it, then I'm sure they can too. So who is this software made for? If you have one printer and you just print the occasional thing every now and then and you don't have a thousand spools laying around, then you probably don't need this. But if you have more than one printer or you're operating a print farm, it's going to be a game changer. I don't know. I try and avoid saying game changer these days because someone's like, I don't like when people call things game changers because when they say it's a game changer, it's probably not. But I really think that this is a game changer because I don't know of any software that can do what this can do. The Simply Print dev team is actually quite small, but they move with haste. <laughs> I've been speaking to Albert, the CEO, throughout making this entire video. And when I suggest something to him in terms of like, I don't know, an improvement or, or a fix, sometimes on that same day, he will have done it, <laughs> which is just mind-blowingly efficient. How is that possible? And the thing that blows my mind is that the guys that created this are only like 19. They made this in high school and have since been developing it more and more and more. They've been bringing more people on board and it just blows my mind because when I was 19, I was still trying to figure out how to shave, let alone make this incredibly complicated 3D printer software. <sighs> so Simply Print's future looks huge and if you're juggling spools, then this could be a great way to keep your filament game on point. Yes, there are still some improvements to be made and some bugs to squash, but I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is going to be pretty big. Hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching.